I'll just show you a simple few things that you can do and then you'd have a piece of content that you can put out on the internet. It works great to help people figure out what it is that you actually do. So I shot the video just a minute ago. I just used my cell phone and I had a lapel mic hooked up and I just had a basic mic that I use with my phone and things like that. It's very simple. You just plug it in. It's a lapel mic. I got it from Ulanzi. Let me show you what they are. So this is all it is. It's this thing here. It's a Ulanzi mic. You can recognize it if you just, I got it off of Amazon. I'm not selling this in to you. I'm just showing you what I use. You can charge it back here. I like it because it's pretty compact and you can just clip it on your shirt or I just stick a lapel mic into it. You can just stick a regular lapel into it like on my shirt and then it's just hooked on my belt down here. It comes with two, which is nice. This pack charges everything and it just plugs into my phone and now I'm on my computer just using my webcam. It works really well. Very simple, very easy. So I just used this, I had my cell phone, and then I just had a basic light. That was it. So I cared about my light. I cared about being in frame. I just used my phone, and then I wanted to sound decent. So that's all I did. I shot one video. I would say something, and I have notes written down. And then I would just say what I wanted to say, and then I'd pause like I would in a conversation. Then I would say the next thing, like I was in a conversation, and I'd pause again. And now I just have these clips right here, and I'm not gonna get fancy with the edits because it doesn't matter, does it? This isn't edited fancy. I just took a bunch of short clips and I stuck them all together, and this is what you get. Let's take a look at this video. I used Apple stuff because everything talks to everything, and I just airdropped it onto the computer, and now it's on the computer. So I just drag this into cap cut that's what i'm using and then it puts it in there see how simple that was next i just drag it down into here and all i want to do is you can see the waves down in here i'll right click and i will just extract the audio and you can see the audio down here see that see all these like cuts in here. I'm just going to literally cut those out of there, glue them all together. I may or may not put a song behind it and then I export it and I put it on social media so that you can watch it just like this video. So I just come in here and I hit command plus. So I put my cursor right at the front where I want to cut it. I hit command B and I cut both of these here and now they're loose and I can literally just hit backspace and they're gone. Now I just want to take this and drag it to the front up here and then I'm going to cut this right here. So I'm just going to put the cursor at the end there, command B, and then I'm going to put the cursor right here, command B, and then click and drag and it goes away. Then you can just drag it over like this where it butts up. Look, that right there is called a J cut. It makes a J. So you start hearing the audio before the clip kicks in. And then I can take this here. And if I want, I just grab these corners and I can just zoom in a little bit. Go to this next space. I'm just going to hit command B. Make sure my thing's there. Make sure I got both tracks. Command B. Make sure I got both tracks. If you hold down command, you can select both tracks at the same time. Hit B. I'm just going to take these here. Now I'm just showing you the simple, easy way to do it. There's, You can do it other ways, but let's just get this figured out first. This is the easiest way. Look, then I just take it and I drag a little bit of it back and just drag some over the front. It just helps the cut. Watch. So back here, came in here. Now I can take this, click on this clip here. I can just scale it back to where it's not so, it just gives it a little different position. So it like cuts back, you know? See, in, out. I'm gonna go to this next gap here. I'm gonna drag and select both clips. Put my cursor where it needs to go, hit B. Go over here, hit B. Click away, click on both of these holding command, delete. Drag forward, boom. Take this, drag it over a little bit, drag it over a little bit. We got that first piece and it's like 17 seconds long. So right here at the end, I'm going to just command B, make sure I cut both of these. If I hit this right here, it'll just zoom it out. And let's see, then I had to like gather, gather again. And then I got together in here. Okay. So I'll just go to here, hold down command, hit the plus minus keys. It's up there on the number row all the way to the end by the delete key. Hit, hold down command, hit plus. I zoom in. I want to get right to here and I want to hit command B. Make sure I got both tracks selected hit B and then drag down delete okay so I'm holding down I'm gonna go up here to the ruler again and do this so I can see it all I'm gonna select both of these and drag them all the way over here I'm not gonna put them too close because I'll just put my cursor here command hit plus it'll take you in where you're at you can drag over this this is cap cut for desktop by the way okay so there I, I drag over it let's see 
So it can just cut hard like that if you want because you don't see the face. So you can actually cut it like right here and just get it even closer if you want. Backspace, delete, backspace, delete, drag, bring it over. There's a lot of stuff I just don't use. If it don't make sense, I'll just either reshoot it or cut it. So watch, put the cursor where I want it and then I'm just gonna hit Command B, Command B. I'm just gonna delete it. So then I'm just gonna go to each clip and I'm just going to bring one closer and take one further away. So this one's far away. Click on this one. I'm just gonna grab the scale up here and I'm just gonna bring it close and move it so it's on the screen so that people can see it a little closer. Next one, leave it far away. It's a little closer actually. Click that one on accident Then it's farther away. Then on this one, click over here, click on the clip. I can zoom way in further away, leave it further away a little bit. Then when I'm pointing at something, I can just click on that clip and I can zoom in and just show it like that. So I'm pointing at something, click on that clip, zoom up, do this, pointing at something, scale up. Then I just do that with all the clips until I'm done. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hit Command Z. It shows me everything. I'm gonna come up here to filters and I just pick a filter that I like. I just hover over the video and I click on the filter. So it's cool, they just have these built-in filters. You can just hover over them. Sometimes you gotta double click on them. I just find one that looks good to me. You could keep a style that would you know help. People would notice your brand. Some of them are crazy. I don't try to go too crazy here. And you don't even have to use one, honestly. I just like to make it a little more crispy. Oh, this HD one's okay. This works. So I'll just drag this over the timeline and stretch it out over everything and look it does everything it just makes it all yummy looking you can just leave it like that you can you can tone it down a little bit if you want see I'll tone it down just a hair and then down here on the audio you can just leave it or you can just come up here and hit normalize loudness if you select the audio it'll show you the audio over here i could put some sound behind it so it's like two minutes and five seconds long so i'll come up here to audio music and then i'll just put in let me type in some modern hip-hop i just think about sometimes what i like to listen to all right so i'll just drag this down here put it underneath there come to the end hit command b chop it off i grab this little ball and drag it in to fade it out i click Click on the clip, I hit normalize volume and loudness, and I take this baby down to like negative 15 usually and see what it sounds like. So it doesn't interrupt my voice, it's just to the right loudness, and that's it. Now I'm just gonna go up here to export. I'm gonna name it easy content to make one dollar. 1080p, I'll make a cover for it here in a minute, like you know, a thumbnail. MP4 HEVC, I set it to that, 30 frames. Pick the folder I wanna put it in. Marketing content, videos, Shorts or longs, this is a long. Click in here, open, export. I was curious about how to make con. Pause it. It's exporting. Now I can post this on TikTok right away if I wanted to. I'm not gonna go into all that in this video. You can export it straight to TikTok and YouTube right here. I'm just gonna make a, a thumbnail. I'm gonna come over here to my YouTube thumbnail. I like date. All right, file, JPEG. There we go. So I made that thumbnail and I just uploaded it into here now. So I can pick my cover. There it is, save. And that's it, it's uploading it straight to TikTok. So now that you figured out some editing trick, think about down in the comments, come up with a title, like a good hook or a headline and three bullet points that you think you could cover on topic that you care the most about. It's just a good practice and you can see other people's down there and that'll give you some ideas. And then you can just create a simple piece of content, edit it like I was sharing with you there and you're ready to post it.